Hello all. Today we will be discussing about transfer learning. Now, if you want to think about transfer learning, it is basically some of the convolution neural network that are designed, which is actually giving you a state of art algorithm to classify different kind of images. So, if I if I if you want to learn more about transfer learning, <clears throat> you best first of all you need to know about something called as image net. Okay, usually. Every year, there is a there is a competition that is actually held, which is called as ImageNet classification problem statements, wherein, you know, uh, every year there will be a new convolution neural network that people will uh, come up with, so that you know it will be able to classify thousand different objects, you know, thousand different images, and whichever will be having the highest accuracy that they are they are given some prize money. Until now, from the past six to seven years, we have got various. Uh, um, various transfer learning concepts uh, and uh, uh, I mean various uh, algorithms that have come up which have actually come up with better accuracy with respect to this image net uh, classification. So some of the some of the algorithms that are designed that are basically used for that image classification are like exception VGG16, VGG19, ResNet, ResNet V2, ResNet XT, Inception V3, MobileNet, MobileNet, DenseNet, and NASNet. So these all these all are the various image classification models which have come up with better accuracy when they are classifying with thousand uh, different images. Okay, now I mean thousand different categories of Im images. Now the best part of this video that I am trying to show to you is basically that we will try to create a basic generic template in Python such that we can implement all these algorithms by just importing the library of Keras, okay? In, in this, if I just go to the Keras application part, I can see that there are a lot of, lot of uh, you know, uh, models that have been integrated in Keras library. So the best part of this particular video is that I'll try to create a generic template, wherein from any of these particular libraries, I can directly use it, I can then train on my training data set, and then based on that, I can actually do a prediction for my test data set. So, this particular code I'll be uploading in the GitHub also. And before that, I'll try to show to you how this particular code will work. Okay. So this is a generic template for any of your projects that you want to do. You can take this generic template and try to use this particular libraries into that. You don't have to, you know, do anything because your model will be ready from this particular library. It will get uh, installed. I mean, it'll get downloaded over there. And then this is basically a concept of transfer learning. See, in this transfer learning, what you're doing is that you're using the state of art algorithm. This is all our state of art algorithm because this have got better accuracy in this image net classification. And you're changing the output layer. You're changing the output layer and you're using this particular algorithm for your problem or solving your problem statement, right? So let us go ahead and see how this transfer learning can be actually implemented. So I'm going to show you with the help of VGG16. Guys, and don't worry about the code. I will, I will upload this particular code in the GitHub link uh, and the, and the uh, URL will be provided in the description of the YouTube video. Now, first of all, in order to import any, any classification, any, this kind of classification model that which is based on convolution neural network like VGG16, I'll be first of all importing keras.layers and in this, I'll be having input, lambda, and dense, and flatten layer. There is a reason why I'm using this because uh, with the help of this one, I'll be able to create my last layer, which will be the number of outputs that I have. Okay. Now, suppose for my pro particular problem statement, if I go and show you in my training data set, I have some of my friend name because this is a face recognition file. You know, I have some of my friends. So four categories I have. And in these four categories, I have different, different images. Okay. So this four output layer can be created by using this dense layer, right? And they are also like input lambda and flatten layer that we are trying to use. Apart from that, we have to import these models. Then in order to import VGG16, I just have to go to this particular documentation and just have to click on VGG16. Now you can see that VGG16 has been imported from the library keras.application.vgg16. So you can go over here, and you can just write from keras.application.vg16 import vg16. Then we'll be using pre-process input so that we'll be able to pre-process our input. We'll also be using image because this, our input is actually images. And this is basically image data generator. Now image data generator will actually help you to do the image augmentation. That basically means that it will try to 
it will try to help you to generate some new images by zooming in, zooming out, or doing a horizontal flip or vertical flip. It is based on the type of parameters that you're specifying in this particular image data generator. The next thing is that basically the sequential layers. So I'm actually creating a sequential model. VGC16 is also a sequential model. In this VGC16, this is basically a con uh, this why it is called as a transfer learning because I'm using VGC16. I will cut down the last layer. Now currently the last layer has thousand different outputs because I told you that ImageNet is basically created. Uh, ImageNet is a competition to categorize thousand different images, thousand different category of images, right? So <clears throat> VG16, what we'll do after using it, we'll cut off the last layer. And in my problem statement, I basically have you know four layers. So for that four layers, what I'll do is that and, uh, for that four layer, I'll create as my four outputs. So that is my four categories of output. And I'll try to append that last layer. Okay, so I'm basically using a VG16, which is state of art. And in the last layer, I'm actually using the uh, number of categories that I have. So this is the concept of transfer learning. Okay, I'm I'm using the car, I'm using the power of VG16 in order to solve my problem state. That is why it is called as transfer learning. Now, initially, guys, we have to use an image size of 224, 224. And there is a reason behind it because VG16 was created in such a way that the input image size is actually 224 into 224. Okay, now then I'm trying to pass my training path that is my data set slash train and valid part that is my test part that is data set slash test. If I go over here, you can see that train and test is here. Okay, so after after doing this, what I'll do is that I'll go and execute all these statements. So you can see that my all the statements has been executed perfectly. Now the next thing is that I have, to, as I told you that I have to remove the VG16 last layer. Because I don't require it, you know, I don't have thousand different categories in my data set, right? I just have four or five categories or based on the number of categories that you may have. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to initialize this VG16, which I have imported. Okay. And then I'm going to give my input shape as image size plus three. Now when I give image size plus three, this basically means that in image size, I have 224 comma 224 plus three is basically added to add the number of channels. And currently, if I have the images in the form of RGB channel, I'll give this particular value as three. If you have a black and white images, you don't give it as three, you just give it as one because black and white only have one channel. Okay. And there is a parameter which is called as weights. In the weights, I'll be providing my image net weights because this is already present in the Keras. Okay. And then this is a very important parameter, guys. Include underscore top is equal to false. This basically means that we are telling whether the last layer needs to be added in this particular VG16 model that we are creating. And if I write include underscore top is equal to false, that basically means that the last layer is getting removed. Okay. And once it is removed, now we can use this particular object for transfer. Okay. Now the next thing is that after I execute this guys, after I execute this. Okay. So after I have executed this, this has got executed successfully. Now the next thing is that. I don't have to train my existing layers of VGC16. This is the very important step, guys. You don't have to train the VGC16 layers because it is already trained. The weights are fixed. It is a state of art algorithm. So you don't have to train this. So make sure that for each and every layer in VGC layer, by putting a for loop, you just write layer dot trainable. Trainable is a parameter which will tell that you have to train your layers or not. So that time you make it as false. Okay. So if you don't do this guys, if you don't do this, then obviously your whole model will start training itself again and again. And due to that, it won't be able to give you good accuracy because this VG 16 layers has been trained in many, many images. Okay. A lot of GPU power is required. A lot of resources is required. So make this trainable as false. So I'm going to make this as false. This code we have already removed the last layer, guys. Now, now in order to the la in order to add the last layer, how we can see that the number of categories are. Now, for this, I'll be using this particular glob function. Okay, in this glob function, I am going to see that how many folders are present inside data set slash train. As soon as I execute this, you can see that in my folders I have all this name and this many uh, folders I have. Okay, these all are my friend names. So. So after this guys, once I do this, 
after i do this what i am going to do is that i am going to you know flatten the last layer of the vgg what i have currently okay after i flatten it this is my flattening i'm flattening the last layer after flattening what i am doing is that i am appending my folders my folders in as a dense layer with an activation function soft mask with this particular x value that basically means that this particular code will actually add the folders that basically means the number of categories at the last layer over here okay so as soon as i execute this you can see that now if i go and see my predictions okay predictions will basically be having four categories and the activation function is actually softmax then i'm going to convert this into a model where i'm giving vgg dot input and finally my prediction layer which will get combined and by this if i execute this model dot summary and model you can see that this is my summary of the model and in this summary of the model i basically have four outputs this is the number of categories that i have and by this i have actually done it you know i have actually used the vgc 16 which i have already created and you know i have taken the last layer i have cut the last layer and i have added four categories and finally i am going to do the compilation okay and this compilation is done we are using cross category cross entropy and here we are using adam optimizer and matrix accuracy and this all concepts will basically be used for image augmentation okay make sure you provide this particular parameter and this is also available in keras okay and finally i'll be doing the fit after doing the fit my model will actually then take some time to train i'm not going to run this particular guys because uh, i wanted to so the main aim of this is that i needed to create i needed to show you how to create a generic template in order to do this okay in order to you know run this particular whole vgc 16 mod now after i i run this fit if i do fit generator this will run and you know and will give me a particular accuracy okay and finally you can see that i am plotting this log loss value and i'm also plotting the accuracy value then what i do is that i convert this model into an h5 file so that it saves get saved in my local folder now the next thing is that if i want to use some other things if i go want to use some other thing how do i use it suppose you want to use uh, just let us take a condition of resnet or resnet version v2 okay so suppose if you want to add resnet version v2 so where is resnet version v2 here it is right so from this resnet suppose i want to take this one what i am going to do is that i have already copied the whole code in a new file here i am just going to write from from keras dot application dot you can see here i have resnet 50 and i'm going to import what is this resnet 50 right i'm going to import this i'll remove this vg16 because i don't require it now i'm going to use resnet 50 right so i'll just import this the next thing is that i will replace vg16 into resnet 50 here i can write it as resnet this is one change that i'll look again this is 224 into 224 and the next thing is that after doing this i'll write for layers in vgg layers instead of writing vgg layers i'll write our resnet dot layers and then i'll make it as false and all the code will be same guys see this i'll write wherever vgg is present i'll just convert this into resnet so here again my value will be resnet okay then all the steps will be same no changes then you execute it you will be creating your model by using transfer learning from resnet that right very simple now not only resnet you can change, you can use anything anything from this you want to use inception v3 you can use it you want to use inception resnet v2 you can use it any 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 networks that are available in keras so this is a way of creating a generic template for transfer learning guys i hope you like this particular video just now try and try to use this for any classification problem statement that you have and just try to see what is the accuracy because this is the state of the art algorithm it will give you a def definitely a good accuracy if you have good number of images so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you have not done and please share with all your friends because uh, it is always good to help others thank you one and all have a great day